four points. He kicks the field goal. Only up one more point. Now 14 to thir uh, 13 for me. We're going to the second half. Same route. Same bullshit. All almost picked it off for some reason i don't know why i almost picked it off but we're gonna stunt Deion sanders num uh, number 21 95 overall wide receiver he might be one of the best wide receiver in the game actually you know what he is the best wide receiver in the game he has route run archetype which means that's the best archetype you want for a receiver he has high speed he does everything you need him to do first and 10 right here you can see me throwing the tight end route that is one thing that i'll put in the updated version of the bunch offs and i'll do this within the next two weeks let's say i want to get a little bit more comfortable with it before i talk about it all right there he just throws a broken play jukes a little bit and then all right i try to make something happen the sad thing is uh, after a juke i've seen very few fumbles not gonna lie right there i get picked up by the offensive lineman wanted to lurk that on fourth and three but what can you do he gets the completion he's still down two touchdowns though so second and goal right here he pretty much has to get a touchdown on this play uh he gets greedy he forces it and yeah that's that's just a user I want to see these videos do well, man. I want to see uh, you enjoy them. They're a lot of work for me. They take quite some time compared to the other stuff that I do uh, because I also have to like think of video ideas. But this is something that takes a long time to edit. These are 10 games broken down. So this just it's just an effort. So please uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of work. And let me know in the comments what you want to see next because I'm trying to go two videos a day. Maybe in the next couple of days it will kind of fall off because I have to do some schoolwork. But I'm trying to do my best and trying to do as much as possible. You can see me get the touch number here. I'm not really going in depth with those games yet because the first games are kind of easy uh, generally. And yeah, right there he just throws it at me. So if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you uh, what you want to see, uh, please let me know because two videos a day, that's a lot. So I kind of run out of, out of ideas, but I really want to put in the work. I want to grow. I appreciate all the support lately. Gotten a lot of subs, uh, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much. You're awesome. But we're going to game three right here and just let me know what you want to see. I generally or not generally pretty much every game that i played this weekend league i saw that i had worse top three than my opponent that is one thing that i kind of am working on i'm kind of working on looking at some coin making methods so i'm looking to post them uh they're actually doing pretty good numbers so that they're definitely something that are, that is, are worth consuming or not consuming pursuing uh, but we'll see where that goes second and goal right here i'm just running it up the gut that is one thing that i have actually noticed uh, the runs out of bunch, I feel like I've gotten better stick right there as it shows it at me. Maybe I've just gotten better at running the ball. That is one thing that is definitely possible because I ran some uh, formation that had some better runs lately. And maybe that has kind of uh, found its way into my bunch. Now right there, I fumbled the ball, which is annoying. I tried to throw the ball away. And yeah, that just happened. Second and 10 right here. He tries to go deep. Everything is covered except for that cross. A good crossing route by my opponent. Good throw by him. He found an open hat. Hard flats out there. So obviously they're not going to cover that. Right there. Bait the drag. Go back to the deep in route. And you can see me go up with Taylor Mays. Swoop. I'm going to swerve him. Actually, Taylor Mays, that's a good point. I want to talk about my favorite team team. And I'm going to rebuild my team because I kind of... As he quits right there. I kind of realized that... I don't like the 25 Seahawks, 25 Arizona Cardinals team team too much. That kind of restricting. So I want to go to a 25 out of 50 uh, Raiders team team because got Fox, big guy. Uh, big, uh, also, I talked to him a little bit. Uh, he has recommended to me that I should uh, get the Raiders team team, and so that's exactly what I'm going to do. As you can see, me second and just stepping up with Brett Favre. That is one of the new requirement uh, requirements from last weekend's weekend league, which I really didn't post because i didn't finish it and it was also pretty bad weekend not gonna lie i got i got flooded in a lot of games uh but brett Favre, he's looking good he has a great release you can see me going up top right there and dk metcalf just agging him dk he's an absolute he's an absolute beast when you think about it, he only is about a 90 overall and he has this high speed he's incredible as we get egged right there i deep have to cover that exact cover three meter and he just gets it so what can you say? It's a little bit frustrating, but you have to deal with it. And uh, audible down right here. That is one thing that I have noticed. A lot of people want to cover a bunch, uh, or in the early games, want to cover a bunch of set with some like one di uh, big diamond for six. That's not going to work, guys. I'm, uh, I'm going to audible down, and I have gotten some better stick. As you can see me fit in the post very tight right there, but I have route tech on Dion. He's supposed to win that. I feel pretty comf comfortable with that throw. Right there, uh, my guy, um, Dante Jackson, just makes a play. Good catch by him. He's going to take it back all the way into my opponent's ter territory. Very deep into my opponent's territory, actually. That sounded kind of sexual. As you can see, me checking it down to Bush. 
swerving swoop to the outside these games are pretty easy so far that is one thing that i have noticed also this game went on like way too long it really shouldn't have been that long as you can see me bait down right there i think that this guy wasn't so bad it's just that i really played a lights out game uh against him and like really has nothing to do with i'm i'm making good reads i'm kind of Getting back into the groove of things. As you can see him. Second quarter. I already, already have 35 points. He just throws it at me. Um, he had he had to make a play right there. I mean the game would have been over regardless. But he just had to go for some. Try to make a play. As you can see me right here. I have the angle route. In a more competitive game. I would uh, take my field goal but right there. But you know. If I have the chance. I'm going to get the touchdown. You can see him trying to go up top. Everything is covered. He wanted to go for an ad catch. He didn't even click on or press Y or anything. That's just a pick for a DRC and we, he gets lit up right there. But now he has said, all right, I have enough. You can't have to win. Excuse me, I had to burp right there. So 4-0 at this point, you can see me uh, kind of like waiting for him to quit. And you can also see the record in the bottom left corner. I'm going to put that in again, just so you guys kind of know where I'm at in the weekend league. So this game number five, once again, in the bunch, fourth and seven right here. And I threw a bad pass, guys. I threw a bad pass. Uh, one of the things that I noticed way too late for this is that you're supposed to run this exact setup with the bunch to the short side. My bad, you guys. I know, fourth and five. Don't roast me in comments, please. But I click on Duclowny. I make a play. My thought process was uh, I have my user blitz, so he is not slow. If you blitz your user, he's, he's moving faster than if you hadn't blitzed him. And that means uh, that I can click off. He will go after the quarterback and it clicks me on to the nearest guy to the quarterback. In that case, uh, Jadavian Clowney, so I just baited him. I just tried to make him, uh, all right, I just throw a dot right there. I just tried to make him wait as long as possible until uh, my safety telemace can get in there. Uh, so right there, you can see a very beautiful uh, interception by me. Uh, yeah, no, I knew that was an interception. I just uh, misspoke, pass, interception, whatever. He gets the ball really on something that he shouldn't get the ball. Uh, right there, you can see me click on. He goes uh, for some with his user, uh, with his, user, with his quarterback, but he gets absolutely popped by Taylor Mays. As, we, as you can see, we break the tackle. Ooh, but uh, frustrating. Even now, watching watching it, it's pretty frustrating. We go out of bounds. Don't get the touchdown. Uh, second half now, zero points. But my God, man, Taylor Mays, just calm down. He's absolutely hit sticking people, and I clicked off right there. Doesn't even have a forcer, but he just went crazy right there. Uh, went Picasso on the running back's face and just killed him. Uh, I don't know why that would be going Picasso. I mean, like, deforming, whatever. He gets the ball, three points. He's out of here in, uh, he's out of here in bunch tight end. I man up the delay fade just to make sure it doesn't uh, get open. We get the pick. That's what you have to do. You have to try to pressure the quarterback with this bunch tight end. A lot of people roll out, no matter what coverage or what blitz you're sending. So you really want to make them feel that pressure and try to force an inaccurate throw. That is uh, one of the ta tactics that I have found to work best against this. And talking about tactics, beautiful pump by me. And I get the safety. So this game is pretty much over. I just have to get one more completion. As you can see me find the laser to the double post. I'm sky kicking the punts right here. I'm just taking as much time as possible. You can see one second left. He runs one more play. But odds of him getting out the very slim. Oh my. Okay. I'm just trolling you guys. There's no way that he would have bro broken that off. We're going into the next game. I'm 5-0 and at this point, which is pretty good. 5-0, and that's kind of what I want to be at. Not what I expect, because sometimes you just play a good player in, your, in one of the very, very early games. Right there, he uses the blitzes at me, which is good defense by him, I guess. I had a very poor rock combo out, out on the field. But he made me make a read, and yeah, I made the wrong read. Um, right here, you can see fourth and four i kind of i'm kind of mad at myself because i have to try my bad voice guy i have to try and force that ball out right there beautiful throw by him he breaks the hit stick but boom jamal adams gets in there and we get we get really lucky i appreciate you drc for that one uh yeah jamal adams just forced the ball forced that ball out but i have to take the chance going back to the fourth down i have to take the chance Bite hard down on the in route and try to force that ball out. I was a bit, little bit hesitant. It's right there. How's that not a pick? EA? stop trolling me. That should be a pick, right there. He just rolls out, rolls out, throw the, throws the in route to the running back backside, gets the touchdown. Quite frustrating. I thought I felt like there wasn't really anything open. Third and five. I'm really only showing this play to show you the beautiful improvisation. Really, nothing was open, but Reggie Bush just worked over to the sideline. As you can, right here, you can see. 
perfect timing. Linebackers not can react to that at all. Linebackers, linebackers are so bad in coverage. I get the uh, not the interception. I get the touchdown. He wants to throw the post. Yeah, from the other side of the field, it's just so tough to throw. I get three points because of that, and I'm very thankful because this kind of makes it comfortable. Two possession lead. That's kind of where you want to be at. And 30 inches right here. I ha oh. And I have to get a stop. I don't want to get a stop though. I get the pick. I lurked him. That is so that is difficulty with a lot of people trying to come up with their own scheme. Often these things are very easy to lurk, I'm not gonna lie to you, because you can pass the drag off to a zone very easily and then just go back and lurk to the in route. Right there, I inverted both sides, try to not give up anything. I wanted to swat that ball, but uh Buda Baker just comes up with the pick. I like it. Good return by him also, like that's not too big of a fault. And right there, he goes for the Oh my god, fo god Fox. Fox, I love you. I love you. Fox. You guys are awesome. How are you doing? How was stream? It's a short stream today, ain't it? Or will you have a second one? Feet, please. Uh, I won't take my socks off for the joke, but there you go, feet. Hey, baby, you can see me getting hosted by my man, Godfox. He's a good, I don't want to say he's a good buddy of mine, but we've talked a little bit uh, throughout the years, and this man a lot, a uh, lot to me, so I haven't mentioned it on my channel yet. But once again, a big uh, shout out goes out to Godfox. He's probably the content creator on Madden that I enjoy the most. I watch every single video of him. He does great stuff. If you want to get better with Madden, he's pr definitely the guy, the, the guy to watch. Also, uh, combined with me, uh, obviously I have to say that. I'm playing against one of the toughest offenses that I've ever, uh, or not that I've ever played, but that I've, that I've played in Madden 21. He ran such a killer offense, it's incredible. Right there, I made a user error, beautiful playmaker by him, and I just, his offense is poetry in motion. I'm not going to show you a lot from this game, just because it pisses me off to see me get dotted, but he dotted me every play, and I really had no idea what to do against this defense. Now, obviously, that is a very bad throw. And one thing that I've noticed, actually, is that I'm very bad against man coverage so far. Like, man blitzes, they really are killing me. So, I have to figure out some stuff against it right there. He runs a cover three beater. Awesome play by him. I just have to be a little bit more conservative, man. That was my fault. He threw it with a beautiful pass right there. And that's, that's just a pick six. So, good defense by him. This dude also had a pretty good offense. He was lasering me. Kind of I'm kind of noticing that this uh, A-slot offset really is starting to become my kryptonite. If you haven't checked out the last video I did, I broke down a guy that really dotted me the whole field, or up the whole field, and that is something that I took from him. I started to kind of figure out what he was doing. I showed that in my last video, so if you guys are interested in that, definitely check that out. Next game right here, I think I'm 5-1 and one at this point. I might also be 6-1. I don't Sorry, guys, I don't remember. But I get the pick right there. And this dude was running trip side end. If you want to get my trip side end defense, then stay tuned. This is also getting posted within the next uh, week or within the next two weeks. Right there, he just sends his user. I thought I could throw that. I thought I could throw that. Maybe I took off uh, route tech uh, for one play uh, for one for one game. And right there, he didn't beat him. Uh, he goes for a cover three beater right here, which is stupid on third and eighteen. On my on your opponent's 32 you never want to go for a cover three beater he throws it right at me i appreciate that doesn't get any points of my mistake third and four right here i really have to not make an error like if i come away with three points that's good i can stop trips that end i promise you will see that in this game i throw it to metcalf he was open but he goes back behind the last the last the line of scrimmage i get my points I take a lot of time off the clock. You can see me running my bunch defense now because he switched a bunch. Seems like he doesn't really feel comfortable. Oh my god, good. I'm just seeing this now. Good play by him. Fourth and inches though, he goes for it. He probably feels really comfortable. He, I, I bet he wanted to send out his tight end, but he ex accidentally pressed R3 instead of X. So that is fun. Always like, or always love when that happens. Uh, so you can see second and four right here. I'm, I'm getting greedy and I'm kind of preempting what happens, but. That is horrible, you guys. You never want to do that. That was very bad of me. I made a big mistake. And now I gave him the ball, the ball back in trip side end. Right there, he, he throws a book. Um, throw out a sack. Actually, that I hate that. But uh, with trip side end, you always can give up a touchdown because the offense is just so high powered. Sometimes there's going to be something open. 
Thankfully, though, I get the pick six, and that is nice. Now, fourth and ten right here. I'm kind of locking up his bunch. He doesn't feel comfortable in chips, doesn't feel comfortable in bunch. Clearly, as you can see right here, he throws the ball away for some reason. I take a while to accept it because I'm not sure what happens if I accept it. But then I'm thinking, oh, yeah, it's a lasso down. So I accept it. He goes to the pause menu, and he decides, all right, I'm out of here. Even though you can't see it. There you go. He says, I'm out of here. And this is going to be uh, two more games, I think. Yeah, two more games in this video. Playing against a Las Vegas Raiders team team once again a slot offset man. It, it's it's difficult to stop I put on a good hit right here DRC. I appreciate you my, my guy I absolutely destroyed him, but nevertheless he kicks a long field goal to go up three nothing and that is I guess kind of good. I guess kind of good when you think about it right there I throw the uh, slant or in route. I don't remember what it was but anyways I get the first down on third and 17. I turn the ball over however I don't remember whether I threw a pick or anything of that nature but the half the half was pretty close like really should not have happened right there he gets the touchdown though but we go right back that z post man that z post you love to see it and got the touchdown right there now you can see the right side the deep half presses that is one thing that is annoying and i forgot to uh to move him back uh against strong close if you deep half uh one side if he motions the wide receiver across, that presses. And now he was not in a spot to defend that. So that is really annoying. I gave up I gave up seven that I really should not have given up right there. Devin has to good shit, my boy. How do you catch that? I don't know. He made a great, great catch though. And right there you can see third and goal. I want to playmaker up the running back. You can see me right here. I'm trying to playmaker it. And I threw a pick on a very, very bad read by me. Uh, and then he just drives down. <sighs> I, I had no idea how to stop him. He just played a good. I thought he was going to throw to one of the shorter in routes right there. He throws to deep weights a little bit longer. Good completion by him. And at that point, I'm just, I'm out. All right. You beat me. Good game to you. I was pretty frustrated because it always frustrates me when I lose to somebody running a slot offset. But he did a good job. He out schemed me right there. GG's to him. Now we got to move forward. Last game of this video, I think I'm 7-2 at this point, so I pretty much have to win this game. If I don't win this game, then I'm going to be in a bad spot. Because generally, my goal is to make top 100, even though I'm not consistent at it. But every week, I'm going to try to make a run for it right there. I drive down the field beautifully, throw the wheel route over the linebacker. And right there, Acrobat just goes crazy. I appreciate you. And Trail Roll, he's one of the uh, big playmakers on this defense. He's part of the Cardinals team team. You can see me rocking the Cardinals uniforms, even though I'm a Seahawks fan, but I'm using I'm using them for the team team. And I also have to say, they look kind of fresh. Good in route by, uh, or post route, whatever it was, by him. Look kind of fresh, so that's why I'm rocking them. I have to cover one player right here. I have to cover the tight end, and I don't do it. He runs the, uh, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Extract Trail, but don't, don't roast me if I get it wrong. Uh, extract Trail out of... Uh, split close, playmaker the running back up. He gets open in a nice pocket, make the possession catch. I am up seven points, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be up more. But guys, 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 you know, the wheel routes in the red zone they're amazing. They are definitely something that you should incorporate. Good crosser by my opponent. He was in the Patriots playbook, and this huge trips out of Patriots. He just snapped through it right there. Very frustrating when you give that up. But this huge trips, it is glitchy. Th fourth and three is a big play. All right, I just threw I just throw an absolute laser, you guys. Sometimes I get so fixed on on that post route, and generally whenever I do that. If there is a window to throw the post, I'm going to find it. It's just not always there. And then, of course, it sometimes can hurt if I laser focus on just the poster. But you can see, got the pick. I'm just going to take time with the clock. He realizes, all right, it's two possessions. I only have two more timeouts. This game is over. I'm out of here. Now, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button. I'm going to make this a short outro. Check out some links in the description. Twitch is in there. Some uh, I don't remember his name, uh, but somebody in my comments asked when I'm when am I live on Twitch. Generally, the, generally on the weekends, I'll try to do a better job of informing you guys. Make sure to follow my Twitter and my Instagram. I'll announce all the stuff over there. Thank you for watching the video. Until next time, goodbye. This was a really long day. I'm tired as fuck. Gonna go to sleep. Till next time, goodbye.